Welcome back to the channel family. It's me, Antonio, with another channel tarot card message for you for today. Hopefully you're enjoying your weekend. We're getting closer and closer to the start of the new year. So hopefully you guys have been developing healthy New Year's resolutions. Closing out any old cycles. Getting ready for the new to come in. I think everyone's still on vacation, yeah. Everyone's still on vacation. Eight of Cups detachment. Walking away from what's normal or what's comfortable. So, yeah, a lot of people still enjoying their vacations or their me time throughout the holiday. Pretty sure eating gingerbread cookies, drinking hot chocolate, and watching some form of a, the Grinch movie, right? Or Scrooge. Let's get into it with the Modern Witch Tarot. Make sure to, to like the video, subscribe if you like the channel, um, add value, mm -hmm. so that we can, so that we continue to grow. <laughs> we got the three. Oh, I thought that was the three of cups. It's the seven of cups and a magician. Spell work, magic could be an Aries or a Gemini manifesting love here. Some sort of a partnership or connection. You could be looked at as a magic maker. Or a matchmaker. Or whatever it is you do, you have the expertise. It's like you have a plethora of options laid before you with the Seven of Cups. The magician is an expert. Master manifester. So you're, you have your hands in a lot of things. People are probably watching you. It reminds me of Santa Claus. <laughs> Doesn't Santa Claus come when you're asleep? We have the full moon standing on top of that hill, on top of that mountain, ready to take a leap of faith. This is usually me when I'm walking down the street with headphones and people try to say hi to me. <laughs> and I'm like, la, la, la. <laughs> The fool <laughs> on an adventure seeking a new pathway. Um, wanting to broaden her horizons. It looked like the city's in the background, so she would be in nature on top of this mountain. So maybe you could be headed back towards the past where you grew up. Or you could just be visiting some far off uh, city or town that you don't have like equal footing or an equal understanding of. Hmm. Put the sun out. This could be a pet lover as well. Or shaman. Uh, someone with shaman-like power. Could be an athlete. Ooh, yeah, the sun. Remember I was seeing the sun on the fool. So you have the sun coming out. This is indeed creating something new. This is foreshadow or foresight here. Someone is able to kind of see into future energies. This could be a child prodigy as well. It's giving me like a master alchemic vibes. Again, remember if you ever see any cartoons or any movies that show like um, a magician's room or uh, something like that. It has like all these chemicals and if you mix like the wrong powders and dust, right? Because spices are like what was like the most important things and people was just getting into science and stuff like that, the Renaissance men. And they would like mix the wrong powders and it would blow up. This is what I'm getting here. This is like a kid, like a young genius or something like that or someone very young and artistic. Um, <laughs> either they, they were, okay, so I'm getting two things. I have to say both of them. So it's like no matter how many times this kid falls down, they uh, get back up. So this could wind up being a kid, like a five-year-old, that friggin' is able to f fix a friggin' uh, automotive truck. Or this could be someone very majestic and magical that whatever they draw or whatever they think or whatever they speak, it becomes real life. So this could be a star seed here. Two fire cards, three of cups. And yeah, this is a twin flame. Um, archetype. Someone's here, either divine masculine or divine feminine. I'm getting divine masculine vibes. 
Three of Cups, a leader. Someone very compassionate. Someone that's able to bring people together. They're very appreciative and grateful for the people that they have around them and yeah. vice versa. King of Wands. Yeah, they're a leader. Or they attract leadership. This could also be a model as well. A runway model or something like that. Fashion designer. What'd you say? Someone that's probably sexually attractive. Mm, yeah, some sort of a strategist or a leader. Or it could, again, have something to do with sex, like a pole dancer. Or some sort of a choreographer. Yeah, we could have a teacher that's a choreographer. Or this could be like the head masculine in boot camp or something like that. Four of Cups. <laughs> I'm not here to pamper you, boy. <laughs> yeah, but this could be uh, love or attraction headed towards you. Not sure if you're looking for that sort of thing. But yeah, there's companionship here. Could be strange friends. I'm getting that show Wednesday. Yeah, strength card, strong feminine, very uh, maternalistic, very natural, very instinctive. Yeah, someone with a very fiery personality here. You got all this fire here. Mm. Oh, you hear that in the background. We got eight of wands. Travel, fast travel, headed somewhere super quick, or this could be the attention of others headed towards you, the sun card. So this could be a lot of people trying to get honest answers or throwing a lot of, yeah, this could be like some sort of an interview. Ten of Cups. Happiness, intuition. And getting good memories as well. So a lot of people are going to be asking or you're going to be asking people a lot of questions and someone's going to have to have a great memory. But yeah, this is uh, love and abundance coming towards someone, sharing love with someone. It seems like they're holding back at this time. This could be like not wanting to go out for a Saturday night and you end up going out anyways to meet. Uh, to, you end up going out anyways and then you end up meeting someone that... Um, you're very attracted to. Yeah, there's a lot of underlying factors, though. It could be like a woman not wanting to go out that night because she's on her monthly cycle or something like that, but she ends up meeting like the love of her life that night. Um, it almost gives me like that scene in The Matrix when they went to go, when um, they went to Neo's apartment, right? And the, the people came to get that um, that data from him and the one lady had the white rabbit on her shoulder right they were trying to get him to go out to the club judgment let me be a motivational speaker very passionate uh, coach or spiritualist yeah this could be a motivational speaker nine of pentacles Teaching a course on finances, possibly. Teaching people how to grow their money. This could, there's someone here that's, yeah, I forgot to say that. Like, in Nick, another example is a man that doesn't feel like going out because <laughs> he doesn't feel super masculine or something like that. He just feel off for the night, right? Not wearing enough jewelry. <laughs> and we have the two of pentacles, yeah. Balancing two different lives, right? The life you see in the daytime and the life you see at the nighttime. <laughs> hmm. yeah, interesting channel messages. Four of Pentacles. After the Two of Pentacles. We could have a homebody. So this could be a lot of potential energy. This could be a home business that someone's creating. I'm also getting like eternal youth. Someone's trying to retain their youth. So that you know what that requires, right? Getting rid of bad habits. 
and developing good habits. Yeah, moisturize. There's an opportunity headed towards you to keep your heart open. Mm-hmm. Keep your intuition active as well. You may be inspired by art. This could be an apology. Yeah, we have all cups here. Ace of cups, ten of cups, three of cups. Yeah, this could be some sort of a party or a gathering or something like that. Probably what if we have Christmas coming up. Probably like some sort of a Christmas dinner. What else we got? Two of swords. Indecision here. We're not seeing the truth or having clarity uh, for a situation here. Right? Dreading the family cookout or the family reunion or Christmas dinner. <laughs> Someone's bound to make some sort of a emotional outburst or have some sort of a big speech that they want everyone to hear, right? <laughs> These are moments of, uh, could be moments of clarity, right? Passing down household and family secrets. Ten of Wands, that's what I'm talking about. The baggage or the burdens of the family. Uh, if you're materialistic, all the, the, uh, the heirlooms, all the trophies, what's owed, uh, or what's owned by the family, i.e. all this land, right? <laughs> People don't realize, and there's nothing bad, there's nothing bad about it. It was just another way to think about it. Once you like have a house, you stuck to that house. You can't move around the rest of the world pretty much because you're stuck managing this house that you purchased. <laughs> It's almost like a rich man can't fit through the eye of uh, heaven's needle or something like that. Because you're just worried about all this stuff. Now, one thing my dad did tell me is that I shouldn't. He said to never um, rent. Don't rent things your whole entire life. At some point, own something. So, it's the American dream to own a house, right? Uh, but I think that's it for your reading. Major Arcanas, what we got? Not too many. We have Judgment, Libra, Capricorn. We have the Sun, Leo, the Fool, Aries, and then we have Strength, Leo. So we had Leo come up twice. Can we be dealing with a strong fire sign or someone that has a um, very intense personality? They shed a lot of light or they garner a lot of attention from people, right? They don't even have to. <laughs> this could be like a silent principle. All it has to do is give you that look and you, you get in trouble. You know who's been like that They almost their whole entire career? That wrestler, Kane, Undertaker's brother. Mm, very adventurous person, very youthful, very stylish. Yeah, they're the center of attention. They're very photogenic. Yeah. There's a lot uh, coming in from this message. People would like to take these sorts of people and groom them and mold them while they're at a young age to turn them into some sort of a cult leader. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Hermit, exactly. Cult leader. Not saying that Virgos are cult leaders, but they're hermits, right? They stay to themselves and they uh, over obsess over uh, over obsessiveness, either to um, learn themselves or learn the world around them. What else we got? High court cards. Get the King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Getting passive income, just don't know what it is. This could be like content creation, AdSense. Could have a content creator here. Again, teaching financial courses, teaching real estate, possibly, teaching credit. Mm, we do have 10 and 10. Yeah, 10 of cups and 10 of wands. It's a lot of love, caring, a lot of love. Family moving from one place to another place. Yep. Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, keep it all in the family here. This is almost like what the nobles did back in the days. 
They even have it in some modern pop culture TV shows like uh, The Lord of the Rings and um, what was the other one? The House of Dragon. But it's well known in history that nobles would, they would only have kids of people in their family to try to keep the nobility or the purity, the purity of their, their culture intact or whatever the case may be. Fallacy, right? <laughs> juggling, not even the truth. They're juggling, I don't know, opinions. <laughs> Could have to make a choice between two different jobs, maybe splitting time between a job and a business that you're trying to open up here. Could also be paying more attention to your health. You could get a bad diagnosis or prognosis or have some sort of a health scare. Um, you could experience a flight layover. Yeah, you want to be careful with your finances. Yeah, it looks like this is either you traveling to different parties or different parties traveling to you. I mean, this could be a motivational speaker, right? Going from college to college or going from popular place to popular place. I'm guessing where there's a lot of people, a lot of positive energy residing here, right? But we Ace of Cups, this is, this is new love, new inspiration. Possibly even someone's psychic gifts and intuition springing into action, right? Usually they say the body or, you know, the body has to go through some sort of a trauma. It's like a fight or flight, um, a fight or flight sort of thing, like your adrenaline. Right, who knows what the human body can do? But anyways, that's what I have for you. Someone's trying to bring a cup towards you. All right. <laughs> they may be a little bit invasive as well. Possibly nosy. Yeah, they may even try to rummage through your things, right? Better watch your um, laptop password. But anyways, that's what I have for you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.